Professor Terrado and I'll be performing the closed chest tube drainage dressing change today. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and knock, knock, knock. I'm gonna enter the patient's room. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself and say, hi, my name is Candace Terrado. I will be your nurse today. I'll go ahead and do an environmental check. I'll check that the rails are up, the wheels and the floor is free of clutter. I'll check my oxygen and suction on the wall. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my things down. I'll go ahead and wash my hands for CDC guidelines and grab some gloves. All right, ma'am, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you if you can state your name and date of birth, please. So the patient's name is Edith Jones. Um, date of birth is 10-25-1950. Do you have any allergy, Mrs. Jones? No? Okay, great. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mask just in case, just so I don't forget this time. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the bed for my body mechanics. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the patient. All right, Mrs. Jones, so today the MD ordered us to go ahead and do a dressing change. Um, we change uh, your dressing every 72 hours and today is that third day, so we're gonna go ahead and perform that dressing change. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, great. Let me go ahead and explain the procedure to you. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to lift your arm and I'm gonna expose your sight and we're gonna go ahead and assess the dressing. I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna clean it using sterile technique and apply a new dressing. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, great. Um, before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and look at our atrium or chest tube down here, chest tube canister. And this canister is set to negative 20 per the physician's orders. I'm also looking for titling upon inspiration and expiration. No vigorous bubbling that would indicate an air leak. So we are good to go for the dressing change. I will go ahead and put my rails down, make sure all my tubing's out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up your arm, Mrs. Jones. Great. I'm gonna set up my biohazard at the end of the bed. And I do have a check here. And I will be exposing this site. Okay. Now, Mrs. Jones, can I ask you before I touch your dressing, do you have any pain today? No pain? Fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and start in taking off the dressing. And I am assessing for coca, so color, odor, consistency, and amount. So color is serous or serosanguinous. Um, odor, there is no odor. Consistency is thick or thin. And the amount could be scant, large, moderate, whatever you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that on the biohazard. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and palpate and assess for subcutaneous emphysema. There's none noted. Looking at the insertion site, there's no signs and symptoms of infection either. So I can go ahead and proceed. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my gloves and wash my hands for CDC guidelines again. And then I will go ahead and start setting up my sterile field. All right, so we have the fenestrative drape. And you just wanna look for the lip here. You're gonna to touch the one inch border all the way around. Make sure you open up your gauze off of the sterile drape. And once you have it all open, you're gonna do six inches above. So you'll need two split gauze and then one woven gauze. Good. So 
do one more split gauze. The next thing you'll do is your 2CHG, so you'll open up off the site, six inches above, away from the sterile dressing, six inches above. This is the petroleum dressing. It's very sticky, so it stays right here in the packages as it get dropped into the sterile field. All right. And then we will go ahead and do our tape. Remember, as soon as our insertion site is completely covered, it's no longer sterile, so we can go ahead and prep the tape now. Okay, and I'll wash my hands just in case, again, 20 seconds for CDC guidelines, just because I touched the rails. So the first thing I'll do is go ahead and clean. We're gonna take one CHG and we're going to scrub around the insertion site for 20 seconds for CDC. Drop. This one is going to go down the tube from the insertion site in a cylindrical motion all the way down. Never back up. Down. And then the next thing we'll do is our zero form. So it's very sticky. So holding just the inside and then we'll go ahead and open it up and stretch it out. And this will go right under the tube and around. You'll use both hands. Okay, the next is a split gauze. It'll go right underneath the tube like this. And then one right on top. And then your gauze next. So after the insertion site is completely covered, we no longer have to remain sterile, so we'll go ahead and grab that tape that you prepped earlier. And cover the site. Okay, and we'll go ahead and pick up our supplies, but before we do that, we wanna go ahead and reassess that atrium. So again, I come down here, make sure I still set at negative 20, and we wanna make sure that there's no air leak because we were um, changing the dressing. So there is no air leak, titling upon inspiration and expiration, everything looks exactly the same, just like when we started. So that is perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and pick up our mess. We're gonna put Mrs. Jones back together. Mrs. Jones, do you have any questions for me? Do you have any pain? No, great. We'll do our normal MPSGs, another environmental safety check. We'll put her call light within reach. Make sure this is back where it needs to go. We'll clean up our mess. We'll take off our gloves, wash our hands for CDC guidelines and go ahead and exit the room.